do we need a software architect in the project? What this position is about, what does it mean, or just a title? What I've seen before in most of the projects is that a software architect is a programmer who is getting the highest salary, who is working on the more complex problems, who is the most respectful guy in the crew, who is staying with us for a long time. I believe this is all true, this is how it should be. But a software architect, I think, is much more than that. I think that the software architect position is about two important aspects. The first one is responsibility, second one is authority. Responsibility means that the software architect is personally responsible for the technical quality of the product we're de delivering. It means that we're blaming him for any problems we may have. We can compare him with the movie director. When the movie sucks, we're not going to blame the cameraman for making some mistakes. We're always blaming the, the director for the whole movie. The same should happen in a software project. When the site goes down in the middle of the night, it's a personal fault of the software architect. If we have a security vulnerability and we lose some sensitive data, it's a personal fault of an architect. If we have a code which was written by someone and it's not maintainable anymore and we just lose a lot of investments, it's a fault of a software architect. This is what personal responsibility is about. On the other hand, it's authority. A software architect has to have enough power to enforce any technical decisions he wants to make. We can compare him with the, with the captain on a ship. The captain always has a final say in any decision made on the ship. The same on the software project. If we have an argument between two programmers of which technology to use, the software architect makes the final decision. If we have a meeting, a technical meeting, discussing what's the right way to go in our product and which, which technology to implement, the software architect listens to everybody and makes a final decision. So there are two aspects. Again, it's a responsibility and authority. A good architect, of course, will delegate them both to the crew he's managing. So, of course, his responsibility will be delegated to other members, to other programmers or designers in the team. And, of course, the authority will also be delegated to the members of the team. But the, 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 but the top of this pyramid has to be the software architect. So if you manage to do it in your project, if you manage to have an architect which, who is personally responsible for the result and, account, and uh, uh, has enough authority to make any decision, then your project will benefit a lot from this position. So my answer to the question is like the question, do we need a software architect in the team is yes, we need this role, we need this position, but only if we can make this position fully responsible for the result and powerful enough to make all the technical decisions. Try it in your project, let me know how it works. Thanks for listening.